Hey coin collectors and welcome to DC Coin World International Coin Channel. And this right here is the definition of a cameo coin. And look at that, how Lincoln just pops off that coin. This is from the San Francisco Mint from 1995. And what happens with these coins is they polish the figurehead and the stuff that sticks up different than they polish the background of the coin. So you can actually see my pen in the background. So when you get a light a certain way, you get this almost like black background and that that's that cameo where he pops up off of there. This coin is so good that you can read the VDB without even magnifying it. It's just a sweet coin. VDB down there for Victor David Brenner, who was the engraver of this coin in 1909. We've just had the same Lincoln on there since 1909. Said so in God we trust at the top, Liberty here, 1995 here, and there's an S here for the San Francisco Mint. San Francisco Mint, they only made proof coins, 2.8 million of them. They found over 1,100 of them so far at a proof 70 deep cameo. So these aren't very expensive coins. They're worth about $34 at the best version you can get. They made some of them in regular proof sets and some of them in specialty sets and in silver proof sets or silver mint sets. Now for this one, what you can do is you just change the light a little bit and you get a different view of the coin. So look at that. That's a pretty cool. So what happens is this one really depends on how you have the light set up on it. And you see down in there, you can actually see this little modeling, M-O-T-T-L-I-N-G, where the background of the coin is actually not smooth, but it just looks smooth when you have the light right. This is a copper plated zinc. So what you're seeing underneath there is just the zinc on the inside of the coin. We tip it up on its edge and we see that it's a smooth coin. And when we get to the back, you see that the back is also a cameo. So if we tip that light back a ways again, we get the, the Lincoln Memorial just to pop off the back. So the United States of America at the top, E Pluribus Unum here. Now the back of this coin was not engraved in 1909. The back of this coin was first engraved by Frank Gasparo in 1959. Until 1958, we had the Wheat Ears pennies. And this is one of the weed ears pennies. So from 1909 to 1958, this was on the back of the coin. And Victor David Brenner, the engraver of the front, engraved this. And if we flip it over, you see this is a 1958 deal, the last year that they made the weed ears coins. 59, they came out with this. And then, of course, you know recently they came out with the shield reverse. So this is not the reverse on the modern pennies. Who else made the pennies in 1995? Well, the Denver Mint made the pennies. And at the Denver Mint, they made 7.1 billion. They found four Mint State 69 red, and this is pretty close to a red version of the coin here, that are worth $4,150 each. They also have found three double die obverse major varieties and three double die obverse minor varieties. Well, they had the double die obverse at both the Philadelphia and the Denver Mint. So here, here's one from the Philadelphia Mint with the double die obverse. So this is a copy of the double die obverse from the 1995 Lincoln Pennies. And here's the top. Here's Some of them occur in the top where it says, In God We Trust, and some of them occur in the bottom where it says Liberty. So let's take a good look at that, In God We Trust. And we see that this has some of the most fantastic doubling on the G here, the O, and the D that you'll ever see in any American coin. This G is just super spectacular, just how great that looks. And then sometimes you'll get it down here on the Liberty. And so you'll see a little bit in front of the L, a little bit in front of the I, a doubling of the B where it actually came down a little bit. And the E looks like it kind of got smudged. And a little bit on the R and a little bit on the T. Essentially, m mostly what it looks like is they just look messy here. But a little bit of the arm on the Y also. So you really have to magnify this Liberty. But on some of the really good ones, you can actually see the G on here with your eyes without even magnifying it. So take a look at the PCGS for the 1995 one cent double die obverse. And you'll get this coin here. And they also have the double die, they also have the double die obverse from the Denver Mint coin. So that's what the double die obverse looks like on a Philadelphia Mint. So when you get one of these, of course the first thing you want to do is magnify it up and see if you get any doubling like that in the G, in the God or the We, and we don't really see any here. And any doubling over here in the B, 
and we don't really see any here. You have to kind of tip it back and forth, and you have to magnify it quite a bit sometimes to see any of the doubling, but we see we don't see any here either. So what the Philadelphia Mint, there are some double die offices that are worth about $5,000. Um, but there are also some regular coins. There's one regular Mint State 69 red version of this coin right here that's worth $7,750. So out of the 6.4 billion that they made at Philadelphia, they've only found one at a mint state 69. Again, it's a copper-plated zinc. And between the two mints then, they made 13.5 billion of these pennies in 1995. And then you can throw in another 3 million at the San Francisco mint. So these are great coins to get. You can buy these in a number of different ways. You can get these two in an uncirculated mint set, the so-called PD mint sets, or the Philadelphia Denver mint sets. And you might be able to get these two, plus all the other Philadelphia and Denver coins from 1995, sometimes around 10 bucks, certainly for under 15. And then you can get a proof set. It'll cost you a little bit more, but if you get the regular proof set, you can get that relatively cheaply too. So if you're looking for these coins, don't rule out just getting a proof set and taking some of the coins out. Uh, and taking all the coins out and just having great copies of all the regular coins for that year. All right, well, that's all we have today from DC Coinwell International Coin Channel. We'd love to have you subscribe to the channel and leave any comments you have in the comments section.